At number 21 overall, the Chargers are going to have a lot of good players to pick from at positions of need. Guys like Jordan Addison, Bajan Robinson, Michael Mayer, Nolan Smith. But in the recent mock drafts, there are five players that have been mocked to the Chargers more than the others. And now as I pull up this list and get into number five, make sure to like and subscribe to this video. It helps me out so much if you are enjoying this content. But without further ado, number five is Quentin Johnston, the wide receiver from TCU. Now he is a prototypical X receiver and has great size at 6'4 and 215 pounds, but he doesn't typically win with his size because he is such an athletic freak when you take into account his speed and explosiveness as well. He plays more of a finesse game as a wide receiver. He has a unique ability to drop his hips and he is so fluid in his movements. He's got great hip fluidity. This is a guy who would have been a great ballet dancer if he wasn't such a good receiver. He's a fast wide receiver as well, so don't think that he's not fast because he is so big. And if you draft him, I think you would have to move Keenan Allen into the slot more often than not because then you would have two big wide receivers out wide on both sides like Mike Williams and Quentin Johnston on the other side. I'm not positive though that he would last until number 21, but I wouldn't hate this move for the Chargers if he is there and they do take him. I would actually be pretty happy about it. Now number four is Jackson Smith and Jigba from Ohio State, another wide receiver. He outperformed both Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson in 2021 at Ohio State who were both picked in the top 11 picks in the draft last year. He had a hamstring injury for the better part of this last season, so he only played three games, which is a shame. He is such a savvy route runner and has a high football IQ with the knowledge of how to get open on every route that he runs. Now he is six foot one, 200 pounds. He doesn't have elite traits physically like Quentin Johnston does, but Jackson just wins so often on the field. And he's the kind of wide receiver that quarterbacks throw to as a crutch, like your favorite target. And that would help Justin Herbert a lot because when Keenan Allen is not on the field because he does get injured quite often, you can throw it to a guy like Jackson Smith and Jingba. He reminds me a little bit of Wes Welker because he wins with his intelligence rather than his physical ability. But I do have concerns with the injury history and his limits as an athlete at the next level. Is he going to still be able to perform the way he did at Ohio State? Now, I would like this pick for the Chargers, especially if this is Keenan's last year with us. Uh, but I don't know. I think he falls in the draft farther than most people think, and I could see him go in the second round. But remember what happened the last time an Ohio State wide receiver fell in the draft. It was Terry McLaurin. And now he's balling out with the commanders. Now, number three is Michael Mayer, the tight end out of Notre Dame. Now, this guy was a force the moment he stepped on the field for Notre Dame. He even outsnapped Tommy Tremble, the former first round pick for the Panthers, when he was a freshman. He is the most pro ready all around player in the draft, a true plug and play tight end that will have success blocking as an inline tight end and as a receiving threat. He doesn't have the speed to threaten defenses deep in the NFL, but he is only 22 years old, so there is room for improvement there. Although I know guys typically don't get faster once they get into the NFL, but Michael Mayer should be praying that he goes to the Chargers because Kellen Moore would put him in great position to succeed with all the different play designs he can run out of similar formations that would cause confusion for defenses, and Michael Mayer would be the perfect fit for this offense. He is such a savvy route runner for a tight end and I already made a video about him and how much I love him. So go check it out right here. And if the Chargers drafted him, man, we're throwing a party in LA. Next, let's go to number two and it is Jalen Hyatt. Jalen Hyatt is the most pure vertical threat in the entire draft this year. He is six foot, 180 pounds and the highlight of this past season was him torching Alabama where he had six catches, 207 yards and five touchdowns. The only issue is that it's difficult to project him to the NFL because of the Tennessee offense. He played as a slot wide receiver for 90% of his time in college. And a lot of the time he was only used as a decoy since there were so many RPOs and quick passes with only one read. Most of his routes were just vertical routes from the slot, but that does not mean that he is incapable 
of running other routes, you draft Jalen Hyatt and develop him as a route runner with one of the best route running wide receivers in the NFL in Keenan Allen, then you could have something really, really special here. And Jalen Hyatt is a true junior. This is a young wide receiver prospect. Speed is something that is so valuable in the NFL. And just because of that alone, this pick would transform the Chargers offense. This is a big yes from me. And now we get into number one, Jordan Addison. Jordan Addison is one of the best route runners in this draft at only 21 years old. And he is six foot, 175 pounds. So he could stand to get bigger and improve his play strength since he does have issues in press from time to time. But he had 21 drops at Pittsburgh in his two years there. But this past year at USC, he had a very low drop rate and only dropped two passes all year. So there's improvement there and it shows willingness to get better and improve his game year over year. He's also great at attacking the football in the air and understands how to win against a zone defense with his ability to run a full route tree with route stems and route options, everything like that. He has the ability to run after catch too in the screen game, as well as the speed and craftiness to win deep and intermediate. This is a three level route runner that needs to be accounted for wherever he is on the football field. This is the player that is most mocked to the Chargers and it is easy to see why. He would give the Chargers not only another weapon at wide receiver, but another element to this offense with a speed element to Jordan Addison's game. Now those are the top five players mocked to the Chargers at number 21 overall. Out of all of these guys, who would you want the Chargers to draft the most? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. It helps me out so much. And I will see you guys next time.